Lesson 9.6, Describe Triangles. We describe triangles as shapes that have three sides and three vertices. Each triangle has three straight sides and three vertices. We have one here, one here, and one here. So remember, a vertex, when we have one, it's called a vertex. It's where the two lines meet each other. So this line and this line meet each other at this corner, this vertex. And when we have more than one, they're called vertices. And we can use three equal length lines to make a triangle. Here we have three equal length lines, and I can make a triangle with them. I can put them like this, and I can put this one down here, and we can make a triangle. We can even make a triangle from lines that have different lengths. So here's a long one, a medium one, and a short one. And we can move these around and make a triangle from three different lengths. It's still a triangle. It still has three straight sides and three vertices. Here we have a green triangle and a blue triangle. We can trace the green triangle with our finger. We can start at any vertex. We can start here and come down, and then we go across and then back up to where we started. And we can put a counter on each of its vertices. We can put a counter here, and we can put a counter here, and we can put a counter here. It's where two lines meet. These two lines meet at this vertex, these two lines meet at this vertex, and these two lines meet at this vertex. We can trace the blue triangle with our finger. We can start at the top. We can come down, come across, and back up again. And we can put a counter on each of its vertices. We can put one up here. We can put one over here. We can put one over here. It's where two lines meet. We can see both triangles have three straight sides and three vertices, but the green triangle has sides of equal length, and the blue triangle has sides of different lengths. Look how long this one is and how short this one is. So triangles have three vertices, and they have three sides. And the three sides can be the same length or different lengths as long as they meet at a vertex. Let's see if we can figure out this puzzle, this riddle. Here's the riddle. I am a shape with three straight sides and three vertices. Which shape am I? We have a square, a triangle, and a circle. The riddle is, I am a shape with three straight sides and three vertices. Which shape am I? Do you know? Which of these shapes has three sides and three vertices? Well, it can't be this one because it has one, two, three, four sides, and it has one, two, three, four vertices, so it's not the square. And a circle doesn't have any vertices. It doesn't have any corners. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. It must be the triangle. If you said triangle, you're correct. Here we have some dot paper. We can use dot paper to draw a triangle. We pick any three dots that are on different rows so here's a row, and here's a row, and here's a row. So these are the rows going across. We have to pick three dots that are on different rows. So I'm going to pick this dot. I'm going to pick this dot. And I'm going to pick this dot. They're on different rows. This one is on this row. This one is on this row. This one's on this row. Now we connect each dot to the next dot with a straight line. 
we can connect this dot to this dot with a straight line, and we can connect this dot to this dot with a straight line, and we can connect these two dots. And we've drawn a triangle. It has three straight sides, and it has three vertices. In our next lesson, 9.7, we're going to identify and name rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle looks like? I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. And please hit the like button. Bye.